today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> We'll be having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practising their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! Ah! Porridge pot! Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Ah! Is Mummy your wand? Ah! Ah! I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> So, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Highly, highly! The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. <laughs>
ready or not. Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy, it's not safe for you to fly so high. Kitty Catty! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to a kitten again. Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> So, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit. Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdie Wordy! Birdie Wordy! Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah! <laughs> oh. Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies. Come back, elves. Fly away, birdies. Come back, twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But, Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but... But the little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. Tiger, tiger, alligator. Crocodile. <laughs>
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Hard times. Food delivery. Oh, hello, Mr. Elf. Lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Come up. Mr. Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr. Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No! It grows in the magic money chest. <sighs> oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. It's full of gold coins. Wow! Can I have a go? All right. I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh, without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr. Elf, would it be okay to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr. Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr. Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So... How do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Name? The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm. We don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. 
Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way is starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Abandon ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <laughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. <laughs> Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. What? Go faster! All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has arrived to start our harvest dance! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <gasps> right -o, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! <laughs> uh oh maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being Daddy. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Thistle's teapot. Da da do dum da di da. Dum da dum dum da di da. Da 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 dum. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh! Ooh! It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> Ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh, no. Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadoo, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben elf! <laughs> <laughs> so... Can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da! Shh! There's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I bother! My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes, elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. <laughs> This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. 
and we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm. It had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. da, da There's da, Nanny. Da, go on, da, ask her for a spell. Da, la, la, Nanny, da, 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 da. please, can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny. A little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin and she lives far away and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is that bad. Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK, then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it. And I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No. This is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. 
promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it forever. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Gaston goes to school. Here, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. <laughs> Ugh. Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston? Fetch Daddy's slippers. Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> Drop. <coughs> Drop. Drop. <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Ugh. I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> hello, hello, Archie. Hello, doll. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree green fly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh no! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly! Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time! Good show! Well done, Archie! Nice posture, Stanley! <laughs> She's funny! Chin up, Bobby! That's better! Let's face the future like we mean it! Aha! A new pet! Wonderful! Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Well, oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr Thistle. Ah, uh, 
Heel, not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh! <laughs> She can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh! Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Foo Foo can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present! Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh, no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots. Drop! Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye. Doodle Pip. Bye, Bye Miss Jolly. It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah! He's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, uh, yes. 
I'll just sit down here. Yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Frog Prince. Hello, Mrs Elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Can Ben come out to play? Sounds like he's on his way down already. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Princes and princesses. Okay. I can be the princess because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes. I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No. Magic is much better. Abracazobadu. Oh, I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Nanny Plum, come quick! I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good. You've been practising your magic. No, no. It was an accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Holly, look! Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <sighs> They all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look! One of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly! Don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. Last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. Oh, oh. Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. Now we will never, ever find him. Oh. Hi, Holly and Violet. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. Have you seen Ben? I want to play football with him. Uh, I don't think you can play football with a 
bird. Bird? Yes, Violet turned Ben into a bird. You changed him into a frog first. Well, anyway, now he's flown away and we will never find him. It's very annoying. Hmm, birds live in trees, so we need to look up in the trees. Strange, one of those birds is wearing a hat. <coughs> That's, That's Ben. ben. But that nest is very high. And we're not allowed to fly high. Then it's a lucky thing I'm around. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny, but Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog? that needs to be turned back into Ben. Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog. Then a bird. And now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadi. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadi Z. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadi. No. At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadi zabadi zee. Hooray! For you. I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but... Elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew, for a moment I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobadi. Hey, it worked. Into birds. Zabadi Z. And into rabbits. Abracazabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. Abracazobadi zabadi zee! Well done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No. no! How about a game of football? Yes! yes. Football! 
Ball. And the rules say no magic. OK. Yes, I think we've had quite enough magic for one day. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. Elf rescue! Aha! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha! My little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking. Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? Elf Rescue? Hello! Redbeard here! My boat is sinking! I see you, Redbeard. Hang on! Elf Rescue are go! Calling all units to the lake! Redbeard's boat is sinking! Elf Rocket, A-OK! -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK! -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK! -okay. Elf Submarine, Okay. Elf rescue our go. Hang on. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on. I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps! My favourite! Thank you so much! Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum! It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue! Thank you, Elf Rescue! Not at all! Whenever you need us, just call! Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. 
the wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue! I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> Elf Rescue! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Mm. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. Hey, okay. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. Launching mole. <laughs> Good. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -de dum. Ah! Elf rescue. Help! Help me, elf rescue. Nanny Palum, I told you. Elf rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr. Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right-o. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day. Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute, and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Hello. Thank you for calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh. Shout for help! 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 Listen! Someone's shouting for help! 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 They need rescuing! We can rescue them! We can be Children Rescue! Hooray! Children Rescue are go! Go, go, go! Ben! Holly! We're Children Rescue! Thank goodness you're here! Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Keep still! OK. Lift Gaston! Lift! What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time. I know. I can magic him out of the mud. Oh, yes. Good idea, Holly. No, no, no. No magic. I want to be rescued properly. That is properly. Magic is cheating. Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out. No magic. Please. No, 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 no. Magic, please. <laughs> ah! Hooray! Well done, Children Rescue. Hello. You rang us, wise old elf. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out Elf Rescue for no reason. But... 
but it wasn't for no reason. Children Rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh, in that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes, biscuits are 